Grand Rapids, Michigan, a community recently voted the number one place in America to raise a family, also has an unusually high teen suicide rate. My parents have been married for 25 years. I have five sisters. We're all biological. Um, we go to church every Sunday. There's not any problems at all. One day, I just realized that I wasn't having fun. Life wasn't, like everyone always said, life is fun, you know, they're out doing stuff. I rather had just been dead. Cause like my family's really religious and like I rather be in heaven being happy than living here. I felt like the, this was hell itself already. I didn't want to wake up in the morning. It took like all of my strength to just get up and get ready. I couldn't bring myself happiness. I relied on everybody else. And sometimes they left and I had nothing. And those are the points where like suicidal thoughts just took over. You never find a completed teen suicide without the precursor of depression warning signs. Symptoms of depression are isolation, withdrawal, a lack of communication, a change in eating patterns, sleeping patterns, the kid that becomes preoccupied with death. I think that one of the dangers is if that person does not get any help that they can become so focused on what the problem is and what the crisis is that they don't see the avenues for uh, resolution. I had medication and I went off it because I felt like I didn't need it, nothing helped. The counselors never helped and so I realized that there was no hope. So my parents were all gone, I think they were camping. Finally, all my sisters were gone, and I did research. I mean, I spent hours on the computer researching because I'm scared of pain, and I didn't want to do it. I heard that, like, if your car was old enough, if you did the hose, you hooked it up, and you put it in your car, that that would actually kill you. And my car was an old car, so I hooked up the hose. I used a whole roll of duct tape put it in, started the car, and sat there for about a minute. And I just started crying, because, like, the question of, will I go to heaven? Because, like, what if hell is even worse than what I am right now? I don't know how I would deal with that. So I called my mentor, Christy Buck, and she came to my house, and we just sat there and talked. All right, how are you doing today? I'm doing good. good. When I was depressed in high school, my vice principal, he called her right up and said that she had to come down and talk to me. And we ended up meeting every Wednesday through high school. And she was like, became my best friend. And she's the only reason I'm here. <laughs>